Hey everybody, Kimo here. And Stan. And what do you do when your friend gives you five big gallon size Ziploc bags of wine corks? Well, we've got a great idea where we're going to turn these into a fabulous and modern cork board on the cheap. We're filming today outside on our patio because it's such a beautiful day. We hear the birds chirping. But before we go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel to get the latest and greatest videos that we publish every Sunday on DIY crafts, entertaining, and gift ideas. And we'd love to hear from you. Let us know in a comment below what you would do with the dozens of leftover wine corks that we are sure to have by the end of this video. And we just might take you up on that challenge in a future video. The only thing that we had to buy for this cork board was this frame that we got at the thrift store for like $4.99 or something like that. Everything else we already had or we had given to us. I like this frame not only because it was cheap, but because it has sort of a shadow box effect because the frame itself is pretty deep. So I think this will make an ideal backing for our cork board. So let's take a moment to enjoy the inspiration of the day. because we're gonna paint over it. I think we're gonna keep the frame pretty rustic, mm -hmm. but we're gonna turn it modern by using color strategically with the actual wine corks. Let's get started. We're boiling up some water and placing our wine corks in that boiling water for about 10 minutes to soften them up. That'll make it easier to slice them in half. And I found that the easiest way to slice them is to place my fingers on either side of the cork and slice right down the middle. It's best to do this while the wine corks are still plump and wet. So I think the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some bright yellow craft paint and we're gonna paint the inside of the frame, including the base of the frame, but also on the inside of the frame. So what I'm doing is taking the sock, I'm just gonna dab it into the paint. Thank you. Right here. And I'm going to take it and then just rub it on the top. Because it doesn't have to be completely covered as far as that you can't see any of the cork coming out. That's it. So we've got a couple of different corks here. We've got some champagne corks, and we also have the regular wine corks that we've actually cut in half, as you've seen. Uh, and we're gonna use the champagne corks as the center of our cir circular patterns that we're gonna have uh, in a few places on the base of this frame. So we're just gonna get to gluing, and I've got my E6000 glue here, as well as a glue gun. We're gonna use both to get things kicked off. So first we're gonna put our champagne wine cork that we've painted pink on there. It looks really cool, thanks Stan. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna adhere that first somewhere on our frame. Okay, let's see how this goes. And also I've been painting pink and orange beside pink and blue besides the yellow. So I'm just putting some E6000 glue in the center of that cork, but I'm going to surround it with a little bit of hot glue as well. And the combination will help to make it stick now, but also hold in the future. So let's pick a spot, and here we go. I'm just putting it down, putting it down right there. That's our very first cork. And we're going to build around this cork in a circular pattern. After just a few circles, I began to realize that the circles were turning out to be more like hexagons, which I was completely okay with because I think that's part of the joy and wonder of crafting is that you never know for sure what that final result is gonna look like. 
So it's important sometimes to let the materials and the process just kind of do their own thing. To fill in any remaining gaps in the piece, I had to cut some of the wine corks to make sure that they fit just perfectly. Because of the seamless design, you can barely even tell which corks we had to cut. And now, the final result. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell for the latest and greatest videos that I publish every Sunday. And we'll see you around.